All right, guys, welcome to Under the Yard Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs, and we are reacting to the University of Missouri system announcing the renovation of Faroe Field at Mizzou and the release of the renderings. Before we do, I need you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, and stay tuned because you will see these renderings. And leave us a comment about what you think. And also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Okay, so... Yeah, this was announced, and with the price tag being $250 million, that was a number released before the uh, before the renderings came out. I, my expectations had been really, really low. I was ready to be disappointed. Then that number came out, and I thought, well, now wait a minute. that That's a big number. The South End Zone in 2018-2019 cost $98 million. So there's your reference. Then they released these renderings, and my gosh – it's pretty much universally loved. I've only seen positive reactions to what we what we're seeing here and it is transformative and you know we're going to talk about all the details here. The expectation is that this will be ready for 2026, the 100th anniversary of Mizzou football at Faro Field. So that's kind of a, you know, nice round number there. For this coming season, they'll have some minor renovations. They're going to update the North End Zone scoreboard a little bit and help to improve the sound a little bit and so forth. Kind of minor things compared to what's to come. So, yeah, $250 million is the expected price. And, man, they're getting a lot. I think one of the most interesting things is the Rock M will be, I guess, at about the same level it is now, maybe a little higher. But there will be suites underneath the Rock M Hill, which is super creative. And it also matches the south end zone, the way those suites kind of extend out from the rest of the structure closer to the playing field. Looks like it's going to do this a similar thing on the north side. Then, man, lots of suites. Lots and lots of suites. 28 on each side, I believe, was the number. So what, 56 total suites being added, premium seating being the buzzword during the conference. And the expectation is that capacity will increase to about 65,000. Gabe Diarman of Power Mizzou was at the presser, asked that question, and the interim AD didn't have a firm number, but said about 65,000. Almost all of that new seating will be the suites, the premium seating so and for, the, for those wanting more seats well you're getting your wish it's just it's gonna be sweets as that's revenue revenue generating so that's good Not notably they said that people will be able to purchase you know, tickets for the suites as soon as the press conference was over so basically now which yeah that's that's smart you know, strike while the iron's hot, right? Now, you have these suites. You have the ground level kind of club area. They got the garage doors to kind of close it off if the weather's ugly or if it's just miserable, uh, cold or what have you. And then, of course, you're going to have your standard infrastructure type um, renovations and improvements with your Wi-Fi, your bathrooms, concessions, and LED lighting coming to Furrow Field. So, at least on that end, anyway. So, yes, it's huge in that regard. One thing that I think is very smart is you have the one image that shows kind of the outside look. There's a lot of glass area. In the center, that is going to be a banquet hall, conference room, whatever, big open area. And that's going to be available for years use year round from you know the university or the general public, really. So, you know, who knows? Maybe it's big enough that you know Rockbridge or Hickman High School, maybe they have a homecoming dance there. Something like that is plausible. And it's a good way to strengthen ties between Columbia and the universe and the university itself. I think that's something that Mizzou has lacked in the past. So that's great. And another revenue generator. That's stuff that 
Mizzou needs as it tries to compete in the SEC. Overall, these facilities are going to make Mizzou – and it's going to feel finally like a big time SEC stadium, I think. Not SEC, but just the way the suites line up and the aesthetics of it, it kind of reminds me of Clemson. Uh, their, their end zone on the left side, if you were watching on TV, I don't know what direction that is. But it just, it it looks aesthetically like that to me from the inside the field. So, you know, maybe that could be a, a point of reference. I don't know. But hey, it's exciting times. You know, be aware there's going to be a hassle 2024, 2025 construction and everything else. But it's going to be so worth it. Uh, they far surpassed my expectations with this. And having drink what's part of the planning for this, I think, is a masterstroke. I think he's aggressive. I think he's ambitious. I think he has a better idea. So that's great. Do want to note uh, in closing here, this is all kind of happening under the shadow of Mizzou still looking for an athletic director. This kind of pro this project was started when Desiree Reed Francois was still the AD, and here we are, basically two months after her departure, announcing this and no AD in place. So that's a little awkward, I guess, but that's just that's it's a footnote, really. It's just worth mentioning. Uh, but hey, exciting times for Mizzou football. And the first game is not for another, what, four months? So it's only going to build from here, guys. And we're going to have you covered every step of the way leading up to that Thursday night opening kickoff against Murray State. So keep it tuned here to Under the Arch Sports. Thanks for watching.